I was having a discussion with my PhD advisor and we were wondering why is there so many electrical engineering jobs, especially relating to wireless communication. So I was typing electrical engineering on the YouTube search bar and one of the things that I came across was the question, is electrical engineering dead? And my first thought was, huh, why would anybody think that? And then I quickly realized what's actually happening and that like there's a lot of buzzwords these days. There's a lot of like, there's a rise in demand for like machine learning and artificial intelligence and like VR and like there's all these catchy software trends and a lot of people who are unsure about what to do basically choose to go into software or choose to program rather than studying electrical engineering and it kind of makes sense because in software because it's a lot of these topics are very hot it's probably easy to find a job you could probably find a remote job and with a computer science degree you don't really have to take like extensive physics or like the higher level of calculus or anything too crazy and this actually reminded me of a discussion i just recently had with my phd advisor which is uh, why is there so many companies going after electrical engineers and the reality is there's not many of them too many people are going in software too many people are going into machine learning ai and no wonder why i see many electrical engineering students feel a bit intimidated and thinking oh my god did i make the wrong decision should i have just gone for that and i'm here to give that a fresh hell no and that's because of a very fundamental concept so to answer the question is electrical engineering dead let's think a little bit what would it take for electrical engineering to be dead that would mean that humanity would no longer use any type of electrical or magnetic devices of any sort in other words anything utilizing electricity would cease to exist not only that but all these people that are writing software well that software has to sell on something and that something is hardware and that hardware has to interface with other hardware and it has to send messages to other hardware and it sends it in the form of electromagnetic waves and even if we fast forward to like a very futuristic like metaverse based world where everything is software and we're all living in some kind of virtual reality well that virtual reality world will still have to interface with your brain which requires hardware your brain is an electrical system and will require that your neurons will interface with the software that is written so there's absolutely no way you could get rid of any electrical applications so not only is electrical engineering not dead it's actually insanely in demand because there's a very high number of devices that is rising like any type of wireless device that you have such as a cell phone or a laptop or an apple watch whatnot one that is an electrical device two it requires to communicate with other devices again using like an antenna or some communication system which are electrical engineering concepts and the number of devices and sensors that we're going to be using is only going up and it's going to be going up exponentially in fact soon enough even your clothes are going to have sensors that are basically going to moderate your temperature or whatnot and regulate your health and all that kind of stuff in fact i was just reading this book right here uh, it's called the wearable technology handbook it's a really good book and this is the metaverse edition and it's talking about the metaverse and all i keep thinking is oh my god this will require way too many sensors way too many actuators uh, this is more of an electrical engineering topic than it is software that is again because electrical engineering is the thing that interfaces software with the real world you know software cannot just exist on its own software has to stay on top of something and one thing i will end this video with is that uh, computer science or software is a branch of electrical engineering so electrical engineering started out with being able to play around with charges and manipulate electrical currents and electromagnetic waves and be able to do things with these electrical currents and electromagnetic waves some really smart people at the nokia bell labs decided to take that and build something called a transistor with it where they can turn switch on and off based on electrical currents and that became the foundation of computer engineering and computer engineering became this idea that you can take these electrical circuits and build binary systems that can think and store data and process data and transmit data and then some really smart people decided to come up and start writing commands for that hardware to change for these transistors turn on and off in a certain configuration and start building start building like a whole new world using logic gates and that became known as software and this is why someone like bill gates became really rich because he was at the time where computers were and hardware was primed to receive good software and microsoft his company wrote really good software and sold it so software at the end of the day is just writing commands to get your hardware to do stuff but you still need the hardware to do to be really good and you need the hardware to interface with the real world independent of any application you need and i can assure you electrical engineering is not dead because there are like 15 branches within electrical engineering that are in demand and that need more engineers and i actually wrote a whole chapter about this i wrote this book like i don't know two years ago i was bored during the pandemic and i have a chapter here chapter three i'll put a free uh pdf link for this if you want if you're curious enough to read it there's a chapter there, there chapter three that talks about 15 different career options for electrical engineering students and they're all pretty much in demand so if you're studying electrical engineering don't panic you'll probably find a really good job especially if you live in the united states or in the western world uh, where there's like a lot of design and manufacturing going on and this is why it's very important to do what you like because trends come and go like who knows maybe five ten years from now we may have a saturation of people who do like i don't know, ml and ai and these kind of things and programmers like programmers are a diamond there's a lot of programmers out there uh, but to be a really good electrical engineer it needs good understanding of physics hardware and software that's not as easy and not as common and there's not nothing against software i mean some people who write software are some of the most brilliant people in the world and there's a reason why we have all these nice things but there's more to say that if you are an electrical engineering student and you're concerned about like the rise in like software jobs or whatever and you're like oh my god am i gonna get a job yeah you'll get a very good job i can assure you but before you get a job
job, you probably should get an internship. And there are things you can do to increase the odds of getting an electrical engineering internship. And lucky for you, I made a video about that. So you should check it out.